Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a lip swatch try on of my new NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. And I had to read that then because it's quite a mouthful. <laughs> First of all, I'm gonna start off by trying on the different shades and then afterwards I'm gonna talk a little bit about what I thought of them. So if you wanna see what they look like, then keep on watching. To be honest, I don't have much experience with matte look lipsticks. I always tend to go for something with a somewhat of a sheen or a shimmer, and I also am a bit of a gloss person as well. Even if I do wear lipsticks, a lot of the time I'll tend to put on some sort of lip gloss on top. I'm just used to having some sort of shimmer. So I wanted to go out of my comfort zone and just try something a bit different really. So first of all, Sydney. When I saw this on the stand, I instantly just gravitated towards it. If you don't know by now, pink is my favourite colour. More of a hot pink really, but any type of pink I, you know, really love. I sort of was a bit disappointed when I got home because I thought, oh actually, I'm not sure if this shade is going to suit me as well as I hoped it would. I'm definitely one of those people that looks at a colour, loves the colour and loves how it looks on other people but then I forget that, well, will it actually suit my skin tone or will it, you know, complement me? I'm not too sure, to be honest, what I think of this one. I definitely think this would be really good for lighter skin tones, maybe up to sort of a light olive. It's more of a Barbie type, baby. I do think that this looks a lot better with a brown lip pencil. It does help to sort of soften the lip a bit so it doesn't look so, you know, in your face. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit annoying because I really wanted to love this one, but hey ho. I did have to put on about three coats to make sure that it was as even as possible. So the next pink that I tried was the Ad Addis or Addis Ababa. I really liked this one. I knew I would, to be honest. This is my perfect shade of pink in terms of my favourite colour in general. So I knew that I had to get this. What I love about this pink in comparison to the Sydney is that with the Sydney, you know when you get that type of bubblegum pink that makes your teeth look slightly off colour, slightly yellow, like even if you don't have yellow teeth, those types of baby pinks do tend to make your teeth look more yellow and what I find is with this one, because of the shade of pink that it is, it doesn't do that at all, if anything it makes your teeth a lot brighter and that goes for obviously all the other darker shades. Yeah, perfect hot pink. I think this is really pretty. It looks really nice for summertime and it's just really girly, it's really fun. I think this is probably one of my favourites out of all of them so far. I found that this one applied a lot easier. It just went onto my lips a lot smoother and compared to the Sydney I didn't have to put as many coats on. Zurich. 
Again, I really love this one. I really like brown shade lipsticks, lip glosses. I just find them quite flattering on my skin. I think they're flattering for many skin types, really. I was a bit surprised, though, because it had a lot more pink tones in it than I thought it would do. It sort of reminds me of... Uh, what's that colour? Terracotta. It's sort of like a terracotta colour, which is really, really pretty. The longer it dries, the better it looks. It's just really flattering. Again, this is nice with a brown lip pencil if you want to soften it a little bit more. This is another one of my favourites. London. This is a really nice colour. This is sort of the same colour as my lips. I do find that my lips can look a little bit flat if I just have this on its own. So it does look a lot better with a sort of like frosted lip gloss. Like because I don't want to look like I've just got foundation on my lips. I do like this one, but I can't really wear it on its own. This is sort of a, a true brown, really, because I said it's quite nude for me. This is Rome, and it is more of a... It's a brown, but it definitely has red undertones in it. Beautiful colour. It's sort of like a burnt brown colour. But yeah, I really like this on the lips. I think it's really pretty. And finally, we have Dubai Dubai, which is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. And again, I really like this colour. This is quite a bit darker than I thought it would be, but I do really like it. I think that it is dark, deep brown. I really love those darker brown colours. I think they're really flattering as well for teeth colour. I'm a big fan of lip colours that make your teeth look a bit brighter. So definitely colours like these that are darker are going to do that. This one was probably the creamiest formula out of all of them. I really like this colour. So if I had to pick my favourites out of all of them, I can't whittle it down to one because as you know I liked all of them but one. But if I had to choose, I would probably go with Zorik, which was that one, and Adidas Ababa, the lovely pink one as well. I just think these are perfect shades. The pink one is really flattering for all skin shades, and it's just perfect colour for me as I love pink and as well the Zorik is another colour that is sort of different from anything that I have in my lip collection. I don't really have any shades that are sort of terracotta as well for some reason. I feel like this shade, I don't know why, but it sort of makes my lips look a little bit more plump. That's a plus. Overall, I was quite impressed. They weren't overly drying, but they weren't exactly moisturising either. If you're feeling like your lips were a bit dry, maybe just put a lip balm underneath and wait for maybe 10 minutes or so and rub it in. Just because these definitely highlight any cracks on your lips or any dry spots or anything like that. So yeah, for me, I feel like they do highlight sort of the lines on your lips and everything. Which I don't mind too much, but it's just something I'm not used to. As I said, I don't really wear matte lipsticks. These are my first set of matte lipsticks, really. I do really like them. I like the fact that they're quite lightweight as well. And the formula is creamy. Mm. They also smell really nice. They smell a bit like conditioner, actually, like hair conditioner. I definitely think as well that seeing as I am a bit of a gloss girl and I do like a bit of shimmer. I think that the butter creams would be really good for me. I definitely want to try those. There's another one as well, I can't remember what it's called, but it's more glossy. I definitely think that those ones would be perfect for me. They're sort of more in my comfort zone. But I definitely will be wearing these a lot more, so you'll be seeing these in some of my tutorials and things like that. So that brings me to the end of my lip swatch video. I really hope you enjoyed this guys. If you want to see more of my videos then make sure you subscribe 
and give this video video give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below tell me what you thought of them tell me which shade was your favorite i love chatting to you guys i love knowing what you think thanks so much for watching guys i'll see you next week bye